How are things going with Wayne's camp? Well, very well. He's training really well, Wayne. You know, we've got, got some good sparring. And we've just really gotten into serious sparring now. He's looking fantastic in the gym. We're very pleased the way things are going. Wayne's a great professional. He works very, very hard. He don't say like he gets it done, which is great, really. You, like, you never get no moans off Wayne, you know. It's not, you don't have to motivate him to do more. You've got to stop him from doing too much, really. He's a great trainer. Um, last year, he wasn't as active as he probably liked to have been. Um, that you say that doesn't deter Wayne at all? Well, no, not really, because I think it's a bit of a fallacy, that is, because he boxed Abrahams, and then he had a, a couple of weeks off. Then we started to train for the um, Dara McDermott fight, and he trained for that fight for 12 weeks. We did over 200 rounds of Spartan. Then the fight, unfortunately, finished in the, in the second round with a cut eye. But I was more sorry for Wayne, because Wayne would have knocked McDermott out. McDermott claims, like, you know, uh, he was robbed of a fight. But I think Wayne was robbed of a victory, you know, a, a comprehensive victory. So... When we, get the, when we get the business done with Macklin, you know, we come, he's got a final eliminator. If he comes through that, you know, we'd be more than happy to accommodate him again. No problems. You know, strange as a Matthew Macklin, having uh, had him in, in your camp for, a, a, I think it was a number of years. Um, what can you say to Wayne regarding tactics that you know will, will eventually get the result that you need? I, I don't, I not, I not, obviously Matt was here for 13 fights. We know all there is to know about Matt. Matt is where he is, you know. And... He ain't going to bring any surprises on the night, and he's a different type of guy to Wayne. Wayne, Wayne is a proper professional. Well, I don't think Matt, Matt, to my mind, has never really put his heart and soul into boxing. He might do for six weeks before the fight, but to be a top-class professional, it takes a lot more than that. You have to live a, a monastic life. You've got to be there 52 weeks of the year. You've got to be an athlete, and you've got to live like an athlete. You've got to eat like an athlete. We never have any, any problems. We never train for weight. We just train for fitness. And that's a massive difference in a boxer's life, that when you're going to a gym, that your sole purpose is to get fit for a fight, not to lose three stone before you get down to where you want to be and then start getting fit for your fight. So it's brilliant to have somebody like Wayne in the gym. He's totally professional about everything that he does. A lot of times with fighters, what they do when they ain't in the gym is as important as they do when they're in the gym. One of my pet sayings for fighters is, the two most efficient irons in the world is a knife and fork because they can now do anything you can achieve in the gym. So from that point of view, Wayne's perfect in the gym. We're having some great sparring. He's very, very fit. He's very confident. I just can't see Wayne having any problems. We, we're, not, we're not in the, in the business of predicting anything. We always train for 12 rounds. Anything else is a bonus. I only know one thing. At the end of the fight, whether it's in the fourth round or the 12th round, there'll only be one winner. Um, just three weeks to go this Saturday. Just give us an idea as to what Wayne will be going through now over the next sort of two weeks. I know they'll probably boil down for the last week and just relax a little bit. But what will he be doing for over the next two weeks? Well, we're still on a full training schedule at the moment. You know, we probably spar 60 rounds in the next two rounds, probably even a bit more than that. You know, but we've got very good sparring, very competitive sparring, and which I'm very pleased with. You know, it's, we, we brought sparring partners up from London. We got people coming up from Portsmouth which is good really because you need a variety of people you know people who pose you different diff different problems and it keeps you sharp you know because people say Wayne is not box for a long time it's it's if you're out of, out of the gym and you haven't boxed for a year and you haven't done anything in the gym then it's a problem but that isn't the case with Wayne he hasn't lost anything because he's never left the gym he's been in the gym training all the time when people take fights on in six weeks now this you could, you could say to Wayne in two weeks, do you want to fight? Because he's always 80% of thereabouts at his at peak fitness. So you've only got to really top up his fitness level. His fitness gets built over the years. So we're in a very good position now where Wayne is absolutely flying. We keep working hard for the next two weeks and then we'll taper down for the last week because we haven't got any weight issues. No, and his weight is perfect. Well, Paddy, we all look forward to the 14th of March and uh, we wish you all the best of luck. Thanks very much. I think it's going to be the best fight seen in Birmingham for a long time, you know. And you know, it's it's great that we've got such a, a big domestic fight between two Birmingham fighters taking place in Birmingham. It's fantastic for the city of Birmingham. It's fantastic for boxing in Birmingham. And I hope the Birmingham fans get out and support both lads because they are both two good good fighters. It's going to be a very good fight. We certainly look forward to that for sure, Paddy. We'll see you there. Thanks, Lee. I made the best man win, and that'll be my man. Wayne, the Battle of Brum is fast approaching. How are your preparations taking shape? Absolutely superb. We're well on track. Uh, probably more so than usual, to be fair. But yeah, it's been a it's been a real good camp. And as I say, I've still got what three and a half weeks left. Uh, 
weights there and the training's going well. That, that you know, uh, to be fair, it's it's effortless at the minute. I really am enjoying myself being back in the gym, and uh, I can't wait for fight night. Sparring, uh, we've just had a, a, a glimpse at your sparring. How's that been taking shape, as far as you're concerned? Yeah, it's going really well. We've had uh, I've had a good uh, a good set a good few sessions with Tony Oki, who was ready to fight in that prize fighter. So that was nice to to warm me into it. Uh, if you like last week, and then we've got a uh, young Matty Furwell down, who's a uh, who's a decent uh, middleweight prospect, uh, who's who's probably going to be one of my challenges down the line, to be fair. But yeah, uh, fights a little bit long, Matt. And it was, as I say, the, the sparring we're getting at the minute is absolutely quality. I can't complain. Uh, it's the right sparring, and uh, as I say, these guys are, are coming here and making me work. In relation to the fight itself, obviously um, it's the talk of the town. There were whispers about this contest taking place back in December uh, and obviously it's now come to fruition for March 14th. Um, do you think the extra spice is, is going to you know, incentivise you even more other than just retaining that Lonsdale belt? Yeah, I mean, to, yeah, 100% to be fair, uh, December, I mean, he's been talking about longer than that. This has been going on for years. Uh, you know, I'm just glad it's finally come round, you know, to be fair, uh, to put this one to bed. Before uh, before I'm too old, <laughs> but no, you know it's it's massive. The anticipation's massive. The phone's off the hook. You know, people are coming up to me, and uh, you know, ticket sales have never been so good. If you like it, so it, I'm not even have to. You know, it's not a hard sell. If you like, everyone wants to be there. It's the must see fight. I don't know, not in my lifetime, uh, a fighter in Birmingham that's been as big as this. Not between two top-ranked Birmingham boys. Yeah, Birmingham guys have faced off against each other, but not when you've both been at the top of the scale, if you're not at the right end of the table. Uh, so, you know, it adds that little bit of spice. Obviously, uh, Matt's been very vocal leading up to it. I prefer to do me talking in the ring, to be fair. Do you know what I mean? I'm just enjoying being back in here, and uh, I can't wait till fight night, and uh, I'll, be, I'll be doing all my talking on the night. Looking at the fight itself, uh, y you have inside knowledge in the fact that Paddy Lynch, your trainer, has had Matthew, I think, for 13 fights. Anything that he's sort of told you, and obviously uh, you must have looked at much of his, many of his contests in the past, are you working on certain things to come back against Matt? Yeah, to be fair, yeah, I mean, but I've looked at Matt anyway, even before, you know, he was with Paddy and that. Obviously, I knew uh, Matt when he first turned pro, we both turned over near enough the same sort of time. There's not a lot between us in that score. So I've always kept a close eye on Matt and watched him coming through the rankings and whatever and through the different divisions. So, I mean, uh, I know pretty much a, a fair bit about Matt. Obviously, it helps with Paddy training him and whatever. Yeah. But obviously, as you know, he's been to different camps and whatever, and he would have added a little bit to his game and, and took a little bit away. So it'll be a little bit of a different fight to the one uh, that Paddy had. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm 100% confident uh, whatever Matt Macklin turns up, he's going to get beat. Uh, just give us a little bit of a load as to what happens now between now and the fight. I think it's three weeks this Saturday. Uh, what will happen now regarding your training? Well, really, we're really into the heavy stuff now, to be fair. It's uh, it's pretty full on. Uh, it's a nice hard morning session. Uh, as I say, we've got the sparring and the technical stuff on the afternoon. And then obviously me running as well. Do you know, it's probably in total, probably comes to about six hours, six and a half hours of, uh, of heavy training. So uh, broke up between the day, obviously, but... Uh, you know, that, that's the sort of level we're at for 36 minutes. I'm going to be mustered come the night. Well, the city awaits, uh, Wayne, and we really do look forward to it and we wish you the best of the luck. You wait, mate, I wait. I can't wait for that. You know, it's going to be a massive battle of Brum. Yeah, brilliant. Can't wait. Cheers, Wayne. Cheers, mate. Thanks very much.